Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share the makeover that I've done on our sideboard. Last year I made my desk and I made over our home office area and I really wanted to change this unit too. I have recently painted my blinds and I have made a video about that which I will link in the description box below but today I am focusing on this sideboard that we also use as our TV unit in this room. So these are the handles that I've got um, they are very bright shiny chrome. They're actually really old. Uh, they came from my mother-in-law's um, old house um, but I'm just not that keen on the chrome. Chrome wasn't what I intended to have um, so I am going to spray paint these um, probably kind of a copper colour. Um, yeah I think copper and see um, how it goes. I used this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch in copper. I sprayed the handles and as the screws were going to be visible I screwed them into a piece of wood and I also sprayed them with the same spray. The next job was to remove the handles from the drawers and to get the drawer fronts ready, I sanded them with 120 grit sandpaper. I chose this Wilco quick dry satin paint in limestone. It is supposed to be for exterior wood, but I really like this paint and I like the colour and I have already used it on quite a few pieces of furniture in my house. I gave the drawer fronts three thin coats of paint. I like to use a paintbrush but then go over them with a roller. I use a gloss paint roller and I find that I get a really good result with this because I can't see any of the paint lines or any of the paintbrush lines so it's brilliant. And then I moved on and I worked on the door fronts. I also sanded these in the same 120 grit sandpaper and I did three thin coats of paint like I did with the drawer fronts. Next I wanted to paint the pine handles so I pushed them through a small cardboard box so that I could easily paint all around them. So yeah I just pushed the screw through and then I screwed the knob on and it just meant that I could easily paint them without getting anything on them. I used this dark oak satin varnish uh, that I got from Wilco. I had to later buy another pot to be able to varnish the top of the unit. I just found that by doing this it made it so easy and I didn't end up with having like bits of newspaper or anything stuck to the handles. It was just really easy to be able to paint them and I could paint them all round easily. I recently bought this cuddle chair from Facebook Marketplace and I absolutely love it. It had these black coloured turned feet so I thought I could take the feet that were already on our sideboard and paint them black as well to kind of match. I got this spray paint from Audi in matte black and I decided to spray them just some thin coats of spray just to see um, how they turned out and I was actually really really pleased um, with the finish. Once they were dry, I used some wood glue and I screwed them back onto the unit. Then I got on with painting the rest of the unit. I didn't empty it as you can see because I wanted to declutter most of it so I just carefully went round and painted everything in a similar way. I just lightly sanded it and because I'd painted it previously I knew that I could just gently sand it. I didn't need to use a primer, I just used two coats of the same paint that I'd used um, on the rest of the unit. 
Next, I just lightly sanded the top. It was bare wood, so I just had to sand out a few light scratches. I gave it a really good clean and then I applied two coats of the Wilco Dark Oak Satin Varnish. I had given the knobs three coats of varnish before I put them back onto the doors. I also screwed the handles onto the drawer fronts using the screws that I had sprayed copper. So here are the drawer handles all finished and I am so happy with the way that they look. I just put the doors back on and just made sure that everything closed and was working properly. This is the final reveal for the unit. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. This is another view I have here of the unit before the makeover and to me it just looks so drab and really needed some TLC. So I'm so pleased to share the final reveal for this piece of furniture. I'm so pleased with the way that it turned out. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.